Carbon War Room started with an idea. This idea of how can we actually get profit-making people to chase more profit and save the climate at the same time. The dominant narrative around climate change was that the only way to defeat the problem was to do and have less. If the only choice is to do and have less, then we're going to lose. So what's the other choice? And the other choice was to decide that you could build a prosperous, low-carbon world. What we're all about is helping create good, viable business opportunities out of carbon emission mitigation. And that works well for the economy, it works well for job creation, and it works well for the environment. Carbon War Room is focused on a very powerful force, and that's business, you know, that's capitalism, that's the entrepreneurial spirit. You know, there's nothing wrong um, with a bunch of motivated people creating innovation to solve problems and making money while doing it. Carbon Warren takes a sector approach and we ask which sectors could be making money from reducing CO2, whether that be insulating our buildings to be more energy efficient or making our ships cleaner and saving fuel. We are looking for measures that can get gigatons of CO2 out of the atmosphere. A gigaton is one billion tons, so we're not talking small measures but those that have a real impact. In the DNA of the Carbon War Room is this ethos that the, the entrepreneurs shall lead the way. Entrepreneurs can start businesses and then help scale change both on helping to solve the problem but also create jobs. We have to communicate to people that just like they had to shift from wood to coal to oil, there's better alternatives out there for the future. And this is one more piece in the evolution that we've seen economically over the last 300 years in this country. Green for the environment means green dollars on the bottom line. This is perhaps the greatest opportunity humanity has ever faced.